just as importantly, it also created a competency group that is perfectly aligned to the course. So what it did was it said, here are all the things that you are going to be learning. Some people call them learning outcomes. Some people call them competencies. Some people call them proficiencies. But this is the modern way to create courses so that as people go through the course, you can measure how well they are understanding each individual competency. And that's important because if you want personalized learning, you've got to know what the student does and doesn't understand. So it does that automatically. Now let's just take a look at analyzing Doctor Who characters. So what it does here is it automatically created three pages of content, a written assignment with a rubric, and a randomized question bank, all automatically. It also aligns the module to the competencies, which otherwise you would have to do manually. And it also creates a series of tags, which is really useful for searching for reusable learning objects later on. If I go into sections, let's take a look. So introduction to Doctor Who characters. And here is the very nicely formatted HTML all about the introduction to characters. Notice that it's also inserting images and it inserts videos. So it actually puts together some pretty cool content for you automatically. So here are some more about the Doctor Who characters and a video there. And I go down some more. And here's an old picture of the Daleks, for example. So what it does, it puts together 80% of the course. And, you know, I know Doctor Who pretty good. And I will say for the record that what you're seeing here is a pretty good representation. Now, if you're into competency-based learning, not only do you want to tag the content, but you want to tag the assessment. So let's go into understanding the doctor. And here's an essay assignment that was automatically generated. And here is the rubric that was automatically generated for scoring the, the student's submission. And each rubric criteria is automatically aligned to the competency that it is scoring. So as you go through the course and as you are assessed, it's able to pinpoint exactly which, which concepts you're getting, which ones you're not getting. And that way we can fine tune the feedback that we give to the student. And similarly, if you go into the quiz, all of these questions were created automatically. So true or false, the doctor is a time lord from the planet Gallifrey. Answer is yes. And the competency was analyzing the character, the doctor, which is correct. So the sheer amount of time that this is saving is enormous, but it doesn't stop there because if you're familiar with the Cypher platform, you'll know that some of our big distinguishing features are automation, which is the ability to trigger one or more actions depending on a certain situation and gamification. So this co-pilot would not be complete without automatically generating a game for you. So here is the game, Time Lord Academy. And I go into the game and it's automatically generating five levels in the game associated with hitting certain points. So if you get, if you get a thousand points, you are level five, the master of time. It automatically creates badges for every level. So here are badges associated with the levels. And it automatically inserts the automation statements um, that trigger these points. So for example, if you weren't using Copilot, you would have to come into a module and say, when you complete the module, award 100 points. But Copilot actually did it for you. So in a few minutes, if you wanted to teach a course on pretty much anything that's in public domain, it could be how to repair a sub-zero refrigerator. It actually does a really good job on that. Digital branding. It could be Unix and C programming. It could be grade two biology. It makes no difference. It can create you an entire course with content aligned to competencies, gamification, automation, the works. And once it's done, it's 80%. The idea is that you, the subject matter expert, go in and modify it to your heart's content. You can add more competencies. You can reorganize the modules. 
You can add more questions. You can insert your own projects. You can do whatever you want with it. It's not set in stone. But that way, you're using your time much more effectively, and you're hugely reducing the time it, it will cost, uh, the time it will take to create this course. So I hope that's given you a pretty good idea of some of the really exciting things that Copilot version one will do in Q2. If you like this, you wait until Copilot version two and version three. But I hope you agree that even version one, um, it's, it's almost like magic. <laughs>